go crude oil buddy real quick and I'm gonna go over a quick 10 minute synopsis on what we need to do I'm gonna keep a real short drill real short so we can do it can you put the nine and five cent yeah yes I'm gonna do that in a second Jai I'll do that together all right let's look at uh, let's look at crude all right we're ready for crude oil so we know that the market can do only two things and this is any market any given time and I don't like I said it doesn't matter all futures all stocks all currency all Forex ETFs options it really doesn't matter the market can only do two things either we're trending we're going vertical or we're chopping in range we're flat the best way to do it like I said and members know this and I keep preaching this moving averages or lagging indicators are absolutely worthless to me they're dead to me they mean nothing to me for support and resistance I don't care about support and resistance for MAs what I do like to use them is for trend direction and I have three MAs here small intermediate and large large magenta intermediate white and then a dash white for my small smaller smallest MA what I try to do is I like when they cross over and, and all three are, are above each other meaning small above the uh, intermediate above the, of the big and small above the intermediate when they're all three we're trending so let's look at the let's look at this tr these trade setups going into and we'll look at today what we're looking at also this is a larger time frame now this setup works on any time frame like I said most members use a nine five and three nine being the largest time frame five which I'll show you in a second and three being my shortest and if the the smaller time frames you get the more retracements you're gonna get down here in this bottom oscillator the oscillator down here is going to show us when we're possibly in a full retracement to look for our trend chart to give us a buy signal. So if I'm strictly looking at this chart, I know I'm in an uptrend right here. I crossed over. It doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize we're in an uptrend. If you take any shorts from 11 or, or 130 yesterday all the way to 5 o'clock yesterday evening, then you should get stopped out. You are going against the professional traders. You're going against the top algorithms in the world and you deserve to lose ticks and I don't mean to be harsh about that but the bottom line if you counter trend trade these markets you will get run over I've never seen one trader and I trade hundreds and hundreds of traders before and I actually was a guest speaker in the Las Vegas trade show a couple years ago with nearly 6,000 traders and all the traders I talked to not one counter trend trader that I talked to made money so what makes you smarter than the market nobody is I'm not smarter you're not smarter you gotta realize one thing this market's not a living, breathing thing. It doesn't care if it gives you the ticks or someone else the ticks. What it will do, it will allow you to extract ticks from it if you try to trade with trend retracements. That's the only way I've found that traders have been successful in this room and the traders that I've talked to and I actually trained before. So what we want to do is we want to go with trend direction. We want to be retracement traders. Here's the easy way to do it. It may cross up. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see this indicator down here give me a full retracement. I want to see it get below 10%. If it gets below 10%, then what I want to try to do is I want to look to go long with positive market delta. In other words, I want to see more demand than supply come in the market, more buyers than sellers. If I see that, then I know right here I got a possible what? Once it gets below 10% here, there it is. So I'm below 10% here. So what I want to do is I want to see positive market delta on this time frame I want to see it get me pull me in the trade so if it can pull me in the trade I got a possible great setup right here as soon as they get below 10% I'm negative market Delta negative market Delta more supply more supply red 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 remember I have a trend filter built into this Renko bar that's the first bar that gives me a buy signal right there when I'm still below 10% so what does that tell me I now have a high probability setup that I'm looking for a retracement long it, are, are all my three MAs up? Yes. Are they all above each other? Yes. I'm in a hard trend here yesterday. So I'm at below 10%. Right when it closes, green market delta. You can open the position up at the open of the next bar. Your stop loss is always going to be two ticks below the swing low. We want minimum risk. And then you can use your ATM machine, meaning your automated system, to get you out on your first target and have a trailing runner with the back testing algorithm that I'm going to get out to you guys. The back testing algorithm what I'll give you, you can back test it years and years and tell you what's the best in that market, what's the best trailing stop loss, what's the best first target, second target, etc. All right? So this is a, what's called a vertical market, not a chart market. So then we come if you look at tries to come into the second setup. 
we try to get a second set up here about uh, into three o'clock. And it would have been a nice one because if it would have got down, look at the wrongly positioned traders, a red market delta came in. Red market delta means more supply than demand. These are obviously counter trend traders. I love counter trend traders. Thank you for coming to work. Thank you for letting us set up, set up. That would have been a buy set up in a heartbeat. Why? Because it turned positive market delta right away. But guess what? Were we at a full retracement? No. So what does that tell you? You don't have a high probability setup. So. What happens is later on in the session we get a what a full retracement. Once we get a full retracement, if you look at it here, we got a full retracement below 10%. And we get positive market delta and we fire up. So if we go into today's trading session, today's trading session, what we want to try to do is we want to try to get a full retracement with positive market delta. So as we move down, we're looking for a positive market delta below 10%. there on a larger time frame here just happened here at 745 this morning got low 10 percent larger time frame now like i said you can do this on smaller time frames if you look at smaller time frames what you want to do is this smaller time frames works the same way if i look at smaller time frames then we've been up we've not been down we've been up so if we've been up what i'm trying to do is i'm going to try to look for four retracements on a smaller time frame it never caught it here caught it here this morning, right at that low. Caught that exact low from a full retracement. You can see at this level, it almost got it there, but did not get below 10%. Got below 10% here, full retracement. Another full retracement, positive market delta. And we're not really in a screening market up right now. Full retracement, positive market delta. Full retracement, positive market delta. Full retracement when the last setup is a positive market delta. So. You can use it on smaller time frames. Use it on smaller time frames. And to show you what it looks like when we're moving up to pair compare to beside each other to answer your question, Jai, let me put these up. Jai had a question. He's like, well, let me see a smaller time frame versus a larger time frame. What I'm showing you. If I compare each setup, if I look at yesterday going up. So let's look at these retracements right here. So it started really the uptrend right there around 120. So if I look for 120 into the close and I look at 120 here into the close, there's 120. There's your buy setup. 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 This actually was a buy setup. You see the difference? You get more trade setups. In an uptrend. You see that Jai, how that works? Tell me why if you understand that. Now you it's a it's a leading indicator, it's a heads up. When you get below 10%, look for positive or negative market delta. This is not lagging. You get a big heads up, especially on a larger time frame. Sometimes you get 10 10 minute heads up. This is not after the fact baloney. You'll get sometimes a 10, sometimes a 15 minute heads up. Alright, so Larger time, remember this is a 9 sim, this is a 5 sim. Okay? So we'll go over all this stuff tonight. We'll show you our market profile right here. It's a great way to use it also. At 7.30 this morning, we hit low value area right here at this level. So you want to look for a full retracement buy setup. This is a screaming buy, screaming, smacking you right in the face, saying, please, you got market profile telling you at three times market pro profile to buy me at 7.30 this morning. Buy, 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 buy. So how do we look at 7.30 this morning? Do we have a setup? Do we have a setup? Yes, we do. We're right at market profile 7.31 right here. It touches it almost to the tick. And that was the last strong buy setup with market profile. Okay, so here's the last buy setup on the smaller time frame also. Right there, full, full retracement. Full retracement. This came off the control point. This came off low value area. So you can see I can use market profile then also, and I'll go over this this evening, to get confluence on trading these setups at a full retracement. 